First, we are going to explain what all the pieces are and what they can do. So, in the bottom right corner, you have this little guy. This is your rook, and it can move all the way forward and all the way sideways on the board or back. And there's two of them. And then you have two knights, and they can move in L's in all direct in every direction. So say it was like right here, they could go two spaces forward and one to the side, or two sideways, one up, and go in L's is an easy way to think of how they can move. After your knights, you have your bishops who can move any way diagonally, however many spaces. And there's two of those as well on either side of the king and queen. Can I go with the queen? And then you have your queen, which can move in all diagonals, side to sides, and then anywhere within a three by three square. And the queen's job is to protect the king. And every, every, any piece can take any other piece as long as it's in the right position, even your pawns. And your pawns are positioned in front of all of your bigger pieces at the start of the game and they can move two spaces right off the start and then one space after that. And they can take other players in a diagonal fashion. Without further ado, let's begin.
How it moves? Yep. It's checkmate. Check I can't move here. Can't there. No there. No there. So by positioning my queen here, and I have my king here, do you think Austin that beat can't you move. My pawn was in the way. Austin can't move anywhere because of this pawn. If this pawn was near, he could move backwards and get out of there. But I would still have brought my rook over and trapped him like against the wall or something and beat him. Yeah. So in conclusion, it makes Carson the reigning chess champion against Austin. And uh, thanks for watching our how-to chess video.